Hey guys, it's me Shail here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Today's video is another tutorial video in which I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can create a very aesthetic manipulation header um, that is an anime theme header actually um, in a very simple and easy way on Photoshop. Now the Photoshop I'm going to be using is going to be Photoshop CC 20. 20, you can use other software editions as well they may um, have newer features or they may lack some features um, depending on the version um, but yeah uh, we'll be doing a twitter header for anime themed aesthetic manipulation kind of a vibe um, so yeah let's get started all right so um I'm in Photoshop as you guys can see and um, I'm going to be creating a new file that is going to be 1500 into 500. The 1500 is going to be um, the width and the 500 is going to be the height. You can either use 3000 um, into 1000 or um, like just uh, with that ratio you can keep on increasing. Um, but I personally prefer 1500 into 500. Um, the resolution I usually use uh, 300. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to create a new file. Um, now we are in the new file, as you guys can see, um, it's just a black canvas at the current moment. Um, it may be PNG for you. It may be black for you, depending on what color, what, you know, background you chose uh, while creating the file. Um, just unlocking that layer. It may be locked for you as well. You just have to click on it and it will get unlocked. Um, yeah, so before we start this, this is going to be an anime themed header slash banner. And if you guys would like its PSD file, it will be in the description as soon as we hit 200 likes on this tutorial, 200 likes on this tutorial, and I will update it with the um, PSD file so you guys can use it as well. You guys can edit it. Um, but yeah, so since it's an anime header, um, we're going to be using an anime character, obviously. And, uh, the one I'm using for this particular banner header, um, is, um, Nezuko, or I'm not very sure if I pronounced that cur name correctly, um, from Demon Slayer. Um, I just really, you know, like the character in itself. That's why I chose this. I downloaded two backgrounds as well because I have a little rough idea of what we are going to be doing, but, um, the rest we will, you know, search it up and, uh, look for it right on the, you know, whole tutorial. So we're going to get started with the, like, character first. The character is the most important thing that you're going to be doing. And, um, I'm going to make it into a PNG really quick. Um, actually, um, I'll have to manually do that. So as I do that, you guys will be shortly seeing me getting done with this. All right, now that I have the PNG ready in here, if we can just quickly uh, drag it in our canvas, adjust it, um, but it's going to be, you know, adjusted according to the background and the whole theme. So since I, you know, um, already told in the beginning of the tutorial, I'm sorry, I'm mumbling, jumbling the words, um, it's going to be a manipulation header. Um, so let's, let's get in our background so that we can, you know, adjust the character according to the background. I'm just going to quickly bring in uh, this background image that I found on Google. You can just search up forest images on Google and you will be able to find such a image. And the reason I basically, um, chose this background in particular, um, is because I'm going to be going with a dark jungle theme in which there are going to be some fireflies around Nezuko or Nezuko I'm not very sure what her name is but Nekuzo um there are going to be fireflies around her um and uh, there's going to be you know all sorts of um interesting stuff that we will be adding in um with the passage of you know the whole thing but I'm going to be showing you guys in depth whatever I do so yeah let me just rasterize the background real quick and uh, adjust it according to the size. Then I'm going to press Ctrl T and make, pers like, choose the perspective tool and slightly change the perspectives. Um, the reason I chose uh, this image of Nekuzo Nazuko was because I wanted her to stand like somewhat in the middle, like, like this. somewhere in the middle 
so it, it's as if she is standing in this little forest right and then i'm going to be adding in the other stuff um firstly you're going to be needing to work whenever you work on the manipulation the most important part is the lighting now i want it to be very dark so i'm just going to go in and um put pull in the hue and saturation bar and i'm going to slightly decrease the lightness in here and increase the saturation you may wonder why but you'll get to know later on um, I'm, I'm gonna decrease the lightness and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the camera filter and I'm gonna go into the basics the presets I'm gonna add a little heavy vignette effect some lens and uh, see a correction and I'm gonna sharpen it just by a little bit and you guys are going to have a lot of filters in here that you guys can choose according to your you know um, perspective I'm gonna go with a little red lift mat and I'm gonna have some curves in here that are gonna be dark you know there we will have this you know really nice background now we, we know that the light is coming in from uh, this part um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna exactly do the same thing with the character so that it blends in it feels like it is in the same in that same specific environment so i'm basically going to go in and add, have a little of a lift of sh like lift of shadows sharpening i'm not going to add a vignette on this one i'm going to go into basics i'm going to decrease the exposure by a little bit increase the contrast also increase the highlights just by a slight amount then the shadows i'm going to decrease just just a minor minus one the whites a bit of an increase in the white and a bit of a decrease in the black so that it makes it a bit prominent increase the texture clarity people don't usually use this um these things but i i personally like to so yeah i'm going to make it a bit vibrant this way there we have it i have her um she's pretty much like she's kind of blending in with the background now but we're not obviously done yet um there's a lot of work to put in because um we don't want it to be uh, this well lit it's, it has to be dark in the surroundings so the next thing i'm going to be doing is i'm going to go into the curves and i'm going to be i'm sorry i'm going to be going into the curves i'm going to Try to increase the lights. All right now that we are, you know, having it kind of, you know, blending in, um, we see that there is light over here. It's like coming from there, and there's some exposure around here as well. So we need to, you know, exactly do that. We have to, you know, work it out. So. Um, I'm going to be creating a new layer, making it a clipping mask, I'm going with the brush, decreasing the hardness of the brush to absolutely zero, increasing the brush size by a little bit, black, and now comes the part, oopsies, comes the part where we are going to be adding some black. In here just like that right then a new layer over the character now it's time to you know have some light on the character itself so we're gonna go and have some black shadows on uh, this side of her right I'm gonna decrease the fill just by a bit to 64 percent and this part is going to be obviously a bit brighter so i'm going to keep it that way i'm not going to add any um, light on it uh, eventually i'm just going to keep it uh, that way and then i'm going to go into blending options you can either use different um techniques to put in some shadow but i'm going to be using this and since the light is in this region the shadow has to be on this part so i'm basically going to be resetting it default i'm going to increase the distance and the angle Right, so I'm gonna be doing exactly that. 
right? Just slightly changing the angles as well, like that. And I'm going to decrease the opacity just by a little bit and the size by a little bit. Increase it. And that's pretty much it. There. Nothing much. Um, it's a kind of a rough um, shadow. It's not that of a professional shadow, but it, it, it'll do the work. It'll do the work. Um, and next up, we are going to be adding in the miscellaneous stuff. Now, you can either use different stuff, but what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a, you know, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding some dark themed, you know, little, you know, uh, like fireflies in the background as well to, you know, the dark and the little bit of light. It's going to pop out. So I'm just going to be shortly looking for some light books. All right. So I found these really cool fireflies, um, even though they don't really give out that effect. Of that much but we're gonna be using them and eventually I'm gonna sort it out right um, I've, I've adjusted the fireflies and I'm just gonna duplicate them just once so that they're more prominent um, if that makes any sense and I'm gonna be um, you know making the exact same thing See, it's on the other side as well, simultaneously, in the same geometry as well, right, just like that. Just slightly adjusting, you know, changing the positions. Um, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding um, a little bit of a, you know, a beautiful glow in the position, like from the bottom. Um, it's not going to be a glow. It's going to be something um, I'm just going to be showing you. Give me a minute. All right. So I've got some smoke, uh, smoke in here um, from uh, the Astral Pack. You guys can check it out. I have the links in the description. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make uh, this... Right, so I placed it, I duplicated it, and then I, the two of them duplicated both of them and flipped them horizontally and put them right here, just the same that we did with the firefly kind of things. Like they, they don't really look like fireflies, but um, you'll get you'll get what I you know what it will turn into. So yeah, um, I basically did that, and then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically equip these, and this layer is gonna be the clipping mask to this one, and then I'm gonna equip this and layer above them so um i'm gonna be turning these into green um like that i'm gonna put it uh give me a minute Right, just like that. I'm basically gonna duplicate this layer instead. I'm gonna delete this. And then I'm gonna flip horizontal and place them right there. Now, uh, these are gonna, gonna be like this. I'm gonna just rasterize them real quick. Put them on screen. Put this on screen. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little blur on it. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Slight little blur, um, the same blur on this one as well. I'm gonna adjust them just like that. All right. Like that. I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna add some black brush strokes on top
né? Vocês? Then a layer above the actual background. like that and then I'm gonna be putting it on soft light increasing the fill just by a little bit there right then also I'm gonna be putting another layer on the top and this little you know subtle so little sub touch like that you know giving a very nice um uh, clean look to the whole thing and um it will start to you know give a very nice look now i i know this doesn't really you know um character blend in so um the reason being these white little you know strokes against it um so we're going to be adding some more um details kind of details the character. I'm just gonna be quickly adding some there we go. right. Also I'm gonna increase her saturation just by a little bit and decrease the darkness on her. there nice nice and turdy <clears throat> um basically you 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 would have uh this kind of mate but obviously you need to add um more to the whole thing and especially because um it doesn't really um, look like a complete design you also have to add the text but that's going to be coming up later on and the next thing that i will be doing is i'm going to be adding some extra um effects in the background like like you can say it's like they are going to be props um sorts of um so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be adding um some leaves like in the background just to give a nice um jungle you know like the forest effect so i'm going to be quickly putting in some some green leaves in here i'm going to be quickly adjusting like that says I placed it in quite a wrong place, not gonna lie. Ah, fair enough. And I'm gonna be adjusting this size on them, right? Just like that. Pasteurizing it. And I'm gonna be erasing some of them that are like pretty much useless. I'm gonna be removing them instead. And the rest. I'm gonna be keeping I'm gonna be yeah see I'm gonna try to keep them below the smoke like that similar thing that we always do duplicate it you can go all creative on it but this is just a little bit of an idea and something of a inspiration you can say for all of you also i'm going to put another one around her like it's going to be it's going to be giving a feel of that uh, they are kind of you know around her right like that and i'm going to put some motion blur on it since they are in motion not a very high one just a little slight motion blur on all of them just like that you have some motion blur on it and it gives a very nice aesthetic um feel um if you you know have a look at it it, it gives you a nice nice feel um, um now one thing i really like in anime headers is that there is always this glow 
uh, that tracks the eye of the you know weaver um, that is so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make her eyes glow and before I do that I'm gonna change this pink attire and pink eyes of her into green so um, to do that it's pretty simple I'm gonna select the polygon last tool you can use the pen tool um, I know there's um, another way in which you mask um, the colors but um, to be fairly honest I have no idea of how to do that so I'm gonna be doing uh, this little thing that I do that is of um, just basically selecting the side all of this and then yeah like that go into the new layer select the green color brush and color in this right the rest I will just quickly oopsies I shouldn't have kept oh my I believe my PC is lagging oopsies I'm messing around a lot there we go that out of the place quickly do that and the same thing on the top and uh, I'm gonna change the color of this one like differently here that and um, I'm gonna make a duplicate layer and I'm gonna put a white just down. I'm gonna make a built white instead Same goes for her colors. Let's see, and also for this part of her dress. I believe that's fine. I, I shouldn't be messing around with that. And then her eyes as well. Eyes are going to be the same color as um, uh, as the what do you call it? It's going to be a green color. Going to be quickly erasing extra spots that I create there we have Mizuko all green now um, so it's pretty simple you can use different masking techniques as well but I use this um, instead um, which is a lot easier and at the same time it's very convenient you would say um, so once we're, we're done with that I'm gonna create another layer above the background beneath everything above, above the background I'm gonna create another little layer of darkness decrease it just like that oh, there we go and now i'm going to be putting a separate layer this is not going to be a like clipping mask layer a separate layer green i'm going to be decreasing the size of the brush and i'm going to be exactly putting this green color on her Two strokes on her eyes which she looks um, haunted right now but give me a minute and then I'm gonna put it at, at linear dodge you can either use color dodge or linear dodge but I usually use a linear dodge and what it does is basically it gives as 
It gives an effect as if, you know, her eyes are glowing, right? So basically, I'm going to be trying to give uh, that look to her. And then I'm going to duplicate this layer and I'm going to put that normal. Then I'm going to put it at blur. Oopsies, blur, Gaussian blur. Like that. This time I'm going to put it at lighter color. There we go. So that way it looks, you know, pretty good. You can, uh, that way it can either look very spooky or um, up to you. It, it's it's completely up to you. Um, the things that are left now is the text you need to add and um, some more details and effects, you know, the end post effects that you need to add. Firstly, we're going to add the text. Let's just create a new layer on the top text and let's say shut it off the font i'm going to be using is joshly fine it's um basically a cursive phone a very nice curvy phone and basically i'm going to put the text right here changing the color to white initially going into the blending options putting in some drop shadow reset to four Putting in a slight little stroke and a little gradient overlay. Never hurts. And then I'm going to put a green outer glow. Decrease the opacity on it though. Inner glow and inner shadow, as I always use. Maybe decrease the gradient overlay just by a slight. And I'll have this really nice looking text. It's, it's very simple, you know. Um, I'm not, you know, having some um, highly aesthetic kind of a text or anything. It's just going to be super simple text. Um, but it looks good. It does the work. It looks, you know, very nice. And it's pretty fairly simple to use. You can just copy my settings and change the colors and whatever um, you want to do. But it gives a very nice look. And then comes the part where you have to add the after effects now the ones i'm going to be using i'm going to be adding a clipping mask in the background i'm going to be going in and putting it like that i'm going to be putting it at color but not that harsh just a slight tint of green in the background as well you know just a slight bit of tint um, then what else i use is i go on to the top and i use brush go into the brush tool like around 200 like some spots to you know highlight and i'm going to put it overlay slightly decrease just like that all right i'm trying to you know highlight this part where you know um the fireflies are at also um the fireflies that we added we can actually put an outer glow on them as well but a lighter color it's a lighter opacity right their style this one is what right just like that i'll be copying this one as well and pasting on this one because it's a bit, yeah it's a bit too it was a bit too harsh um and yeah that's pretty much it you will be having a very nice anime themed header right in front of you um one thing that i like like to do is i put a little you know where's the render at the character i'm gonna put a clipping mask once again but this time i'm gonna be using the color of the main you know thing the main color theme i'm gonna be putting a soft light around it Giving it a little green tint as well. 
like that. And that is pretty much it. That's how I do my um, headers. Minimal. Um, it's pretty minimal, uh, but at the same time, it's, it looks nice. Um, stands out from other headers, um, if you ask me. And personally, um, I really like such, you know, simple headers. Um, one thing that is left is the camera filters that you add overall, the palette corrections. You can either do them manually, um, or you can use use the presets in the camera roll filter. Um, we'll just quickly use the camera roll filters. Um, and if, 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 if this occurs for you, um, like this, what I always do is go um, control plus A, control plus X, and then I paste it in, in the media. And then it's going to be completely fine. If that happens with you, don't worry about it. Just cut the whole thing out and uh, paste it into a new layer. And then all you need to do is just add in your like whatever you need to add in. Um, obviously the color corrections. I'm going to lift the shadows on this one and um, I'm going to add some little bit of a sharpening in here as well. A bit of a medium vignette. Um, and then what else I can do is this flat and green looks really good. The warm shadows look really good as well. But it's completely up to you how you want to do it. Um, the bright, the vivid, the matte, it's completely up to the user. But I'm just going to complete the header at this stage because um, I look, I, I, I like the look of it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it um, for this tutorial. I just wanted to show you guys how you guys can get a manipulation slash aesthetic slash minimalistic I don't, I don't even know what you guys can call this one um, but yeah basically an anime header um, in, in, in a short time um, very simply um, so yeah that's gonna be it for today thank you so much for watching if the video was helpful in any way make sure to hit leave a like hit that subscribe button um, turn on the notification bell uh, because I post videos very often and stream um, so if you would like to get notification for that you would get that and yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. 200 likes on this video for the PSD file. Um, I'll update it. And that's pretty much it. I also upload videos um, related to gaming slash vlogging on my other channel. The link to that will also be in the description. And I'll see you all next time. Till then, have a good day, good night, whatever you're having, according to the time zones you're living in. And I'll see you all next time.